Okay, let's do another exam question together. So, we're going to reverse back into electromagnetic induction and we're going to go for a question on calculating the force on a conductor. Okay, so we've got a question to go through, then I'm going to leave you with the revision page at the end that you can scan over to recap. Okay, let's read through this and analyse this question together then. So, we'll underline stuff as we go, as we've done before. So, a 0 0.5 metre conductor carrying 3 amps of current is placed in a magnetic field of 1.2 Tesla. What force does it experience? Right, so we've got the length, the current, and the magnetic field density, and we're being asked for the force. Right, let's combine these together with that formula that we know, which is the force is equal to the flux density of the magnetic field multiplied by the current flowing through the conductor multiplied by the length of the conductor. Okay, so let's check these values then. So flux density... Yep, we've got that 1.2 Tesla. That's in its base value for flux density, and that's perfect. 3 amps. Amps is the base unit for current, so we're happy with that. And 0 0.5 meters. Meters is the base unit for length, so we can use that. So let's just punch some values straight in here and see what we get. So it's going to be equal to 1.2 Tesla multiplied by 3 amps multiplied by 0 0.5 meters. And when you put that in your calculator... That's going to come out with an answer of 1.8, and it's N, N for Newtons, because force equals being measured in Newtons. We know this. Okay, so let's split this off now. We're happy with that. So let's just summarise that, put the formula in, identify which parts of the formula we've got and which are over here in the question, fill in your values once you've checked that they're all in the base unit, which they are, Get your answer, make sure you've got the correct unit at the end. Okay, so let's just flip this now and think about something that we may actually be asked in the exam as well. We may be asked for one of these values. So we may be asked a similar question, but we're being asked for the what's the flux density of the magnetic field? Or what's the current flowing through the conductor? So let's do an example of transposing this formula, like we're going to have to, aren't we? Because this is the one we remember. We're going to have to transpose this if we're asked for, let's say we've been asked for the flux density. Okay, and let's transpose this formula. So what have we got? We've got the force is equal to the flux density multiplied by the current multiplied by the length. And then I've shown you this before, but let's show you again. We want this on its own, okay? So we can take stuff in chunks if we like. We could grab this bit together and cancel it out from here and move it to the other side. So we'll do that by putting some brackets around it and then look at what's happening. So currently we're multiplying by this as one thing, aren't we? So let's divide by it. So let's divide by I times L. And same to the other side, like we know. Divide by I times L. And that's going to equal. This is going to change, isn't it, to this, because we had the force. Now I've divided it by I times L. So we'll put that below here. And then over this side, we're going to be left with just the flux density, because we cancelled this off, haven't we? OK, so let's flip it over so we look smart. And let's put it in like this. So the flux density is equal to... The force divided by the current flow multiplied by the length. Perfect. So quick recap. Go through your question, analyse the question, pull the values out for, you, for your formula, make sure that they're in the base units, all of these, like we did for all these three, and then make sure your answer you choose is in the correct unit for what you're being asked for. In this case, it was force, so we're obviously going to write our answer in newtons. Okay. And then bear in mind that you have to be able to transpose this formula, so... Either one of these will be the subject because you may be asked for this value like we did over here and we flipped this formula around. So I've got other videos on transposing formula you can watch. But if you want to just look at this one again, that's absolutely fine. So let's go through now to the revision slide here and I'll just flick through these and let you recap on your own.